everybody, this is Erica. How are you? Today I'm gonna show you another model here in Mesa Ridge. This is Skyview Collection. They will have a grand opening soon. They haven't really opened officially. This model is Calico model. This model is 4,398 square feet and this is the smallest floor plan they have in the Skyview Collection. This model has a split garage, two and one. And all these floor plans have a huge courtyard, so they do have a lot of square footage in the front of the house. And you will see a lot of blue tapes and a lot of um, touch-ups they're supposed to do since this is before they do grand opening. There's a sliding door from the guest suite downstairs. And they're doing some touch-ups on paints, and I'm pretty sure it'll be flawless when they open. The base price of this Calico model is $966,995, 4,398 square feet. This floor plan has total four bedrooms and four bathrooms. This home has a beautiful entryway and all the floor plans in this collection has high ceiling, which is about 24 feet high. And I noticed that the style of the home are very comfortable but modern at the same time. Here's a massive great room. The size of this room is 25 feet by 20 feet. And they decorate the entire wall with the brick tiles which match so well with the floating staircase. Compared to the model that we saw last week, they used more darker color wood. For this one, they use a lighter color and mix a lot of green as well. The kitchen has built-in fridge, which is an upgrade. There are several different options for the built-in fridge. I even seen the house have a three panel built-in fridge, so that's something you can do, but of course it costs extra money. This kitchen doesn't have any upper cabinets. Um, I noticed that a lot of luxury builders do this for the clean and modern look. And here's a super cute chandelier in the dining area. The extended cabinets on the bottom are included with the base price. They use the quartz countertops for the entire kitchen and they mix all these different color tiles to decorate the wall. I remember the last week model had this huge marble slab. I personally like the tile better. Marble's not only expensive, it's harder to take care. So for the kitchen area, I think the tiles are perfect, especially when they mix the color like this, it just have a nice pop. The model homes always have the premium appliance package. For this model, they installed the Wolf. Uh, Toll Brothers Love use the Wolf brand and they do stay for a long time. There are some lightings installed under the cabinets and that actually adds another color to the home. These lightings are so cute, it looks like a bird cage. And the sink was a little small for the size of the kitchen. And here is a microwave. And here is a dishwasher. And the entire house has engineer wood installed. That's a door from the two car garage. And there are a couple options you can do for this area right here. The model home has this prep kitchen. This is optional feature that you can add. And there's another option, you can make this area as a flex area. The original floor plan has this area as the big pantry. And this pantry will have extra storage as well. I honestly can imagine have a double kitchen. I already have a hard time keeping my kitchen clean. And I only have a one kitchen, so I can't even imagine when I have two. And here is extra storage area. The cabinets are really nice and clean, and I love how they added these lightings. Here's a drop zone, and do you see all those holes? If you have extra sticks, you can actually stick them into those holes and make extra hangers. 
this is super cute idea but i don't recommend if you have a small kids um, i can already imagine my kids um, hanging around this area like little monkeys here is the barn door in front of the prep kitchen This floor plan has great open concept and the great room has 24 feet ceiling. So it's nice and airy, bright. The great room has 20 feet wide sliding door. And if you like, you can actually do a corner sliding door to open up even more. Since they use lots of wooden colors and stones, this home really gives that calm vibe. I notice a lot of interior designer for these model homes now they try to add all these natural elements to make the house modern but very comfortable and calm. Behind the great room, this is a den slash the office. So the size of this room is 14 by 16. And here is very interesting floating desk. I love how it matched with the area, but I feel like it's not that practical when you actually use that desk. And here's a beautiful built-in they have for the office area. Right next to those shelves, there is the area that you can actually put little plants. There is a powder room between the den and the bedroom number four. Right in front of the powder room, there is a closet. This is pretty good sized closet and you can also use it as a storage. And here's optional kitchenette for the guest suite. This option will be great if you are planning to use this area as a guest suite. But if you're going to use it as a regular bedroom, you probably won't really need this. There's a mini sink, wine fridge. They use the same quartz countertop from the kitchen. Here's an ensuite bathroom for bedroom number four. Every single bedroom in this house has ensuite bathroom and walk-in closet. This is walk-in closet for bedroom number four. And they install all these optional cabinets. The size of this bedroom is 17 feet by 12 feet. The bedroom number four has a sliding door, which is already included with the base price. The sliding door is toward the entrance, so I don't really quite understand why they have the sliding door here, but I guess it really depends how you want to utilize that area. We're going to go upstairs using this beautiful staircase. The floating staircase is not included with the base price. This is an upgrade that you have to add. When you build a home with Toll Brothers, you can customize everything. Um, not the structure. Structure, the floor plan is already there, so you can do too much. But for the interior options, you can pretty much do anything. The upstairs actually have this bridge connect from the master bedroom to the other bedrooms.
I'm gonna show you the master bedroom first and we're gonna go over to the other area. The size of this room is 14 by 19. They installed this wooden ceiling decor for the master and actually match with the room. The master bedroom has two balconies, one by the ensuite bathroom and one right here. This fireplace is the optional feature that you have to add and they decorated the entire wall with stone tiles. A lot of properties in Summerlin have great strip view and Mesa Ridge is one of them. And some of the lot is actually facing the strip so those lots will have a great strip view. But of course, Toll Brothers always say they don't really sell the lot by the view. But when you actually see the lot premium, you can actually tell the difference. You can see which lot will have a potential to have the strip view. The flooring is engineer wood for the master and here is amazing showcase closet. These glass doors are installed as a barn door style so you can actually slide back and forth. And they have this beautiful built-in cabinet with all these lightings installed. I really like the split closet for the separation, but in this case, since my husband's way organized compared to me, so his side will be nice and clean and I'm pretty sure my side will be uh, such a mess. The ensuite bathroom has split vanity and there is a tub in the middle. The ensuite bathroom also uses a gray cabinet and the white quartz countertop which is the same as the kitchen. Here's a balcony number two. In this area, you can do uh, yoga and some workout. And they do have these glass panels below this railing. So it's nice and airy and open. You can actually see outside much better. So for this row, you can actually get the mountain view and the strip view. The shower is in the middle and the style of the shower is already included with the base price. They just did some interior upgrades like tiles, some trims. They also add some lighting components behind this panel so it have the glowing effect. There is a loft between bedroom number three and bedroom number two. The size of this area is 20 feet by 13 feet. It looks like there was a kid actually drew something, but I know that's the um, interior designer that did that. 
which is brilliant and i love all the details they added and this message community try to cater to a lot of families they do have a lot of cute rooms decorated for the kids This is bedroom number three and the size of this bedroom is 14 by 15. So this room is slightly bigger than bedroom number two. This room has a connected balcony and this is toward the entrance. I think this room will be more suitable for the older kids since there is a balcony. For the little ones, this is just way too dangerous. Since this room has huge windows, there's so much natural light comes in. So you probably won't really need to use lighting during the day. And here's a cute loft bed. This bed looks like they order from Pottery Barn. That's a pretty good brand, but expensive. This is ensuite bathroom for bedroom number three. I really like the tile work they did for this shower and you can see that they play with the texture and all the tiles are actually honeycomb shape. It's very clean but still fun design. This is walk-in closet for bedroom number three. Here is a laundry room right in front of the bedroom number two. The sink and the bottom cabinets are included, but the upper cabinets and washer dryers are not included. And this is bedroom number two, and here's en suite. And this room has a completely different concept, and look how fluffy this lighting is. They use a white tiles, white quartz countertops, white cabinets. It's so much fun to walk around the model home since they have a different theme for each rooms. The size of this bedroom is 14 by 11, little smaller than bedroom number three. They supposed to have a doors on the right, but since they're still working on some of the stuff, they left that door out. This is such a cute baby room and it's so calming. This room has a great strip view and it would be actually nice if they had a balcony for this room. There's one more area that I want to show you which is the backyard. So I'm going to go downstairs and show you this beautiful backyard. All the floor plans in the Skyview collection has a pretty good flow from outdoor area to the indoor area. And here is a 20 feet wide sliding door. This is a multi sliding door. So when you open, you can actually connect the patio and the great room. Here's another cover area, which is in front of the den. You've probably seen a lot of blue tapes in this property. And they're about 90% done, 
but by the grand opening they'll be 100% and it'll be flawless. The bottle and pole always have this net for the safety reason. The model home lot size is 8,105 square feet and the smallest lot in this collection is 7,700 square feet and the biggest lot here in the Skyview collection is 15,811 square feet. This barbecue area has an aluma wood shade on top. And this is a built-in barbecue area, which is an option that you have to pick. Since this community is located in Summerlin, there are two different HOAs. Summerlin HOA is $48. And the Mesa Ridge HOA is 224 dollars There is a special assessment as well since this is in the master plan community total of $6,250 This is Calico floor plan the total square footage of this home is 4,398 square feet and the base price of this home is $966,995 if you have any question about this community, Las Vegas Henderson Real Estate, I'm here to answer any questions you have. My name is Erica Lee. I'm a local realtor here in Las Vegas and Henderson. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again.